Okay, so I use the adaptive touch, the non-adherent silicone. I cut it in half, put it uh, both directions, and then secured it here with the half-inch stereo strips around the base. And so now we have it secured over our skin graft. And then we can put the Provena wound vac over that. Okay, so we got the Provena that's compressing. Inside of it is the uh, purple Provena dressing you can see here. Now I have two of them, okay. We are going to place the two of them like a sandwich, just like this. Okay, you'll see that in one second. So that's how it's gonna be. Okay, okay so we have the Provena dressing. This is the purple sponge that you can see. And there's another one here. And the white portion needs to be centered on where the thumb is, where the skin graft is, so you can see. Okay, so after we put the first Provena dressing on in that fashion, then we put the second one on on the opposite side. And this is the tricky part where you do have to line these up and they need to, to, to match pretty evenly, okay? So you wanna to try to line the white sponge part up with the other white sponge part, okay? Just like that. And then you gently pinch it, okay? like that and you can see so I'm pinching it from both sides to create the sandwich okay. okay so once we've gotten our two Provena sponges on you can see one and two we've done the sandwich okay here's the Provena pump we put the uh, backing on here. This is the canister on the back of the pump, okay? And then you can see the two cords then come down to a Y connector. So this is the Y connector. You can see this is it, that's the Y connector. So each of the Provena adapters goes onto the end of the cord and then these feed into the Y connector. This then goes here. We connect this to the Provena canister in the back like this. Okay, make sure it's nice and snug. And here's the power button. We hold it down until it turns green light on. Okay, that's the pump going on. And then if we look over here, what you wanna do is make sure that your seals are good, okay? And that the sandwich, because this is a sandwich you can see, is meeting and touching the back side. Okay, and you can see it's starting to get hard shrinks down and then also if you listen to the pump the pump is going to make less sound and then it should be uh, not making that sound anymore and then we'll know that we got a good seal so so that's good so we know we got a good seal you can see you can see it you can feel it and then you turn it. Now here, this is gonna be the place where we're gonna do the Tegaderm sandwich to uh, prevent any air leaks in that location. Okay, so one of the key things is doing the Tegaderm sandwich, particularly in the web spaces, right? Because you can imagine this is gonna be the place where it's gonna fail. Uh, this is gonna be one of the high areas. Okay, so we use Tegaderm and and then we're gonna make a Tegaderm sandwich like this. So we're gonna put one behind, okay? And one over and sandwich it down. Okay, so I'm gonna do the first half of the sandwich on this side of the Tegaderm, okay? Like that. And I'm gonna turn the hand over. I'm gonna take another Tegaderm, get the second half of the Tegaderm sandwich. And one of the key things is making sure that the fingers are, are stretched all the way out. And then at the same thing, you wanna to make the two pieces of Tegaderm touch and then create a sandwich like that. And that way when the, the thumb comes down, you see, it won't pull on my Tegaderm sandwich. So 